Hello and welcome to another Action Figure Adventures video. I've been finally getting some work done on my toy room, uh, including getting carpet down and starting to get some more of my displays put together. So I decided to give you guys a little tour of the room. Hope you enjoy. Alright, this first little section here has my Batman Bloodstorm poster from one of my favorite Elseworld graphic novels. And it's surrounded by 25th Anniversary G.I. Joe figures. Pimp Daddy Destro, the SDCC Sergeant Slaughter figures, and a few of the other characters I like. There's the Mail Away Doc, and the Matt Tracker figure, and then on this side here I have some fun school uh, G.I. Joes from India. Barbecue, Flint, Beachhead and Zartan. As we come into the room, I've got this big shelving unit over here that I picked up from Blockbuster when they went out of business, and it's full of loose action figures. Top shelf here has uh, DC Universe Classics figures. This is uh, Moss Man as Oscar the Grouch. And I've got the vintage Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain going across here. And the Robot Chicken Master of the Universe Classics pack with Molar. I got this Black Ranger signed by Emmanuel Jones at the Great Allentown Comic Con last year. And I picked up the Red Ranger so I can get it signed by Austin St. John this year. Alright, here's some Ninja Turtles. Lots of different versions. I've got the... Uh, Comic versions, the vintage figures, the new classics line that's larger. Lots of different Nick Turtles. There's the 2000s. And I got a little collection of Shredders and Foot Soldiers over here. Alright, here's some Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Some of the Figu Arts Rangers. And some Megaforce Rangers. On the next shelf I have some Kenner Robocop figures. them I have some Kenner alien figures. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice by Mattel. And some LJN Bionic 6 figures. Bottom shelf here has some Motu Classics figures that don't fit in my display. I ran out of room in the case for them. Starting at the top of the next row, I have all my vintage Masters of the Universe figures. The shelf is all heroes. Followed by villains. I gotta fix Faker. You may have seen my video on the Masters Shrinky Dinks. Below them are more bad guys. There's the Snake Men and the Evil Horde. And below that comes the 2000X He-Man figures. And the bottom shelf on this side has my Realm of the Underworld figures and New Adventures of He-Man as well as Princess of Power figures. Across the floor there are some vehicles. And that brings us over here to some carded G.I. Joes.
is my carded snake eyes collection. Nobody super rare or anything, nothing from the earliest, you know, vintage line, but most of the 25th and other modern figures. I got this one signed by Ray Parks at Wizard World. few more vintage carded Joes. This closet's been converted into a storage space for G.I. Joe vehicles and play sets. Uh, although there are a few Star Wars ones on this top shelf. They're waiting for their display to be put together. It's the Mobile Command Center. The 8283 base. Tactical Battle Platform. And the Defiant. With, with the Space Shuttle Eternia next to it. Alright, this big case here it will eventually hold all my G.I. Joe figures, loose G.I. Joe figures. Uh, I still have to paint two more doors for it, but uh, right now I'm just kind of using it to display a lot of different things. Some vintage Star Wars figures. And some DC Elseworld figures in the background there. There's my boxed Rhino. These are all the Collector's Club uh, subscription G.I. Joe figures. Some DC Direct Nightfall figures and some vintage Star Wars. Carded G.I. Joe. Bottom shelf here has some real Ghostbusters. And another Rumbly Underworld figure and carded G.I. Joe. And my 12 inch snake eyes that I actually bought off eBay. This once belonged to Larry Hanna, the creator of the G.I. Joe personalities and writer of the comic book. Actually signed it down there. Out of the way you going? Here's a few carded G.I. Joe figures from towards the end of the line. Floor, have some other carded and boxed things kind of waiting to be put away. Land of the Lost from the 90s. There's another King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. Some more G.I. Joes. James Bond Jr. My laser tag helmet and Ghostbuster Firehouse. There's a few carded Motu Classics toys. As we come around the bend, 2000X. E-Man, Matty uh, Voltron line, there's another fun school G.I. Joe, several carded Robocop figures, Aliens, and Land of the Lost. I also have some carded Star Wars figures over here, mostly more recent stuff. Uh, eventually I'm going to have a display case over here that I'm building out of an old TV for all my loose vintage Star Wars figures. Well, if you enjoyed the tour, don't forget to like it or subscribe. This has been an Action Figure Adventures video.